Wildwood. Who was Wildwood? And everybody just asks, what's Wildwood? You've heard the rumors, the whispers, the speculations. But what is Wildwood? Where did it come from? And how did it begin? This is the story of Wildwood. I guess this really dates back to November 2017, really. I mean, so many years we've had customers asking us for, for more. And, uh, you know, after that Baltimore tow show, we got on the airplane and uh, coming home, and that's when it all started. I, mean, I don't even remember who was their job. Yeah, there was Vince, myself, Jeff, Billy, Kip. Coming back on that plane and listening to the customers from that show, they kept pressing us, pressing us, you know. We need a little bit more. We need this. The, that night on the way back, I think we spent two hours on the airplane talking about, you know, what has it got to be? I mean, Jeff was all in on the project. You know, we just started looking at, you know, the products that were out in the marketplace, ours and our competitors. And I think, you know, John, you sort of spiked the ball on that one and said, you know, we got to beat them all. I think I got back on we got back Sunday night. Sunday night. Monday morning, I called a meeting and uh, asked Joel to come down to my office. And I said, uh, some of your dream shot. We had this whole new group of engineers coming up, and, and we were kind of in the middle. I think timing, you know, was really a unique part of it. What do you remember from that? We wanted to do something that had never been done, but we wanted to do it everywhere. Um, reach, outrigger stance. There's nothing about this truck that anybody's ever done. With a plan in place and goals set, Miller's engineering team begins the enormous task of designing the world's largest rotator. I spent most of my time doing the FEAs on the subframe. It takes so much time to do these. One of these FEA models can take 12 hours to run. And the time constraints that we're in, we broke this apart among three or four engineers. So somebody got the boom, somebody got the record frame, um, I got the subframe, so we worked months and months and months. I know we've been working on FEAs for five months. The engineers are under pressure to complete their individual FEAs so that production can start on time. FEA is a finite element analysis. Um, long story short, we can take a structure, whether it be the boom, the outriggers, the subframe, and that's how we break it up. We can predict what the loads are gonna be and apply those loads back to the unit and predict where those stresses are gonna be. And then depending on how hot those stresses are, we can reinforce that area, um, move plates around to try to help the structure. We had a base. I took a, a couple different trucks and the best, the best aspects of all of them and combined them and stretched them. And then we, you know, built upon what we already had making things better, taking, for example, the extension system, taking the load off the cables, putting them back to the cylinder. The engineers are in uncharted territory and the pressure is mounting. Joel and his team must complete all required FEAs before production. My name is Michael A. I'm Senior Automation Specialist here at Miller Industries. I'm in charge of programming all this machinery, down from the laser to the plasma, to the robotics. This project was a big deal. We had hundreds of parts to cut inside. We had a short timeline mm -hmm. and lots to do in a short amount of time. We'll be cutting most of this stuff in house. So we're basically going through all the weldments, getting weights for those materials so we can go ahead and start ordering a lot of material. And we will cut these on the laser and the water jets in house. While many of the parts are fabricated in house on Miller Industries state of the art laser and water jet, some of the parts are so large, no machine on site can do the job. Some of the parts on this truck are just so, so big that we're gonna have to order them outside. It was really exciting and stressful in the beginning because you're just thinking about how we're gonna do it. And, you know, you start talking to vendors about it and then all of a sudden you see a, you know, a couple thousand pound bearing show up and you're like, okay, it's on.
You know, it's been 18 months since we started this. Your thoughts about just leading the project, your team, everybody behind you. I mean, you've run more, you know, FEA analysis than probably on any truck we've ever produced. I mean, yeah. what do you think? This was the largest team effort from the Miller Engineering Group. It's, it's the biggest group project that we've ever had. There's not an engineer that didn't have some kind of input, whether it just be in design review meetings or we had some new young engineers, uh, David Freeman, Cody Riddle. These guys just jumped in, asking questions, pulled up their sleeves and did work, and did some amazing work. We laid out all of our goals, and I believe we've hit all those goals. We've got the reach, we've got the stance, and we've got the weight. So I, I guess this really all comes down to you know, that, that final day of testing. The team has spent months running tests. Now the time has come to start bringing these designs to life. We're here live testing the M100. After all the calculations and all the time spent doing FEAs, it's good to finally get to do some testing and see some real world numbers. The Miller Industries team has never before tested loads exceeding 150,000 pounds. Upgraded testing equipment has been installed, including a load cell with a capacity of 220,000 pounds. When he came off after hitting his marks, he was just shaking and he was wooing. And, and I saw that excitement that I saw each time. Yep, we just made the 200,000 pick. Man, we just picked up 200,000 pounds. This is like the greatest day of my life. 200,000 pounds and more to go. There's still more in there, and it's very exciting. Over 200,000 pounds. I'd venture to say that's the biggest lift that's ever been documented. Yep. That's definitely the biggest lift anybody's taken a picture of and seen it live, so it's amazing. It feels amazing to watch it come to life. The team did a great job. The machine, it's just amazing that how quiet it is. The machine and the truck just sat solid. Boys have achieved the goal they went after. It's amazing, it's amazing. I believe that we have just created the world's largest tow truck. What was going through your mind and how did you feel being the first operator to ever pick 200,000 pounds with a single tow truck? We'd get to 100,000 pounds and people were talking and I'm, you know, I can hear the wind blow and it's ridiculous to pick up that much weight. I've got one guy looking at load to let me know where I'm at in load and I've got one guy let me know where we're at with stress. So when the other guy's like, stop the test, anybody says stop, it's usually bad. But I didn't hear anything pop, so I'm looking around, and sure enough, the guy's like, load cells quit reading, because we maxed out the 220,000 pounds. A lot of weight. So much weight. So much weight. We double the pounds that we pulled from the 1150R to this machine. And the one thing that impressed me more than anything else during our whole testing process is that machine never bogged down uh, never snapped, never did a crazy pop. I guess ultimately, John, how important is it, being Miller Industries, that we stuck to our guns and we did all of our testing at 30 degrees, meeting the SAE rating? There isn't anybody in the world that's done what we've done in factually rating, and that was one of the things that you stressed. This was a 100-ton machine. 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Verified. And SAE standards. And that's what we did. What started as a dream called Wildwood has now become a reality. That reality is the Century M100. It's been 18 months of hard work and dedication from everybody involved in this project. I mean, your team has spent tens of thousands of hours engineering and designing what we're going to see tonight and uh, quite frankly I think it's time for us to enjoy the party so here's to the world's largest manufacturer of tow trucks building the world's largest rotator.
And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, Miller Industries is proud to introduce the Century M100. The industry's first unit was 65,000 planetary main winches, 30,000 pound auxiliary winches, and a 30,000 pound drag winch. A maximum boom height of over 53 feet. An outrigger stance of 25 feet. A turret travel length over 12 feet. With a rating of 200,000 pounds. This is the Century M100.